John Morant has become the king of dunks, and he's just getting started. As much as we love the NBA dunk contest, it will simply never compare to the exhilaration of a well-executed in-game poster dunk. You wait in tense expectation as the player loads up. You hesitate as you think to yourself, there's no way he's actually going to finish this. Then you feel an explosion of excitement as the ball slams through the hoop. Contest dunks obviously have the highest degree of difficulty, but the element of surprise from an unbelievable dunk in the middle of an NBA game is impossible to top. When thinking about the best ever, we have to make one condition. First, wide open fast breaks don't count. Guys have done 360s, gone between the legs, and done windmills when alone in transition. Sorry, that's just too much like a dunk contest. In my opinion, the best dunks in the NBA are during actual game action outside of fast breaks. Young players took over last season in the NBA. The new generation of players are really showing their talents and making a name for themselves. One such player is former Rookie of the Year, Ja Morant. From Murray State to NBA Rookie of the Year, Ja Morant has come a long way from his playing days at Crestwood High. Ja Morant has been a human highlight reel since being drafted into the NBA in 2019. Ooh, let's play Full Court, baby! Your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics. Now playing in his fourth season, Morant is one of the most exciting players to watch in the league. His athleticism is one of the best in the NBA, as he can jump out of the arena to catch a dunk. Moreover, his ability to finish at the rim and make shots in the clutch is already on display. Grizzly star John Morant never fails to amaze with his high-flying play and jaw-dropping dunks. But on Saturday night, the 23-year-old uncorked a slam that even he said was the best of his career. With just over four minutes left in the third quarter of a road game against the Pacers, Morant easily carved his way past a pair of defenders, clearing himself a runway to the rim. At the last moment, Indiana center Jalen Smith slid over to help, but instead offered himself up to be posterized. Morant and Smith both jumped, with Morant cradling the ball with his right hand before unleashing a vicious, one-handed dunk over the Pacers' center. The slam sent the Grizzlies' bench into a frenzy, and Morant stared over at his teammates before jogging back down the court. It was literally like a switch being flipped. The place was dead, and this definitely woke everyone up. After the game, the Memphis point guard also admitted that he couldn't think of a better dunk in his basketball career. Yeah, easy, Morant said when asked if the dunk was his best. It's what everyone has been waiting for. I finally made it. Jaw has some advice for all of you who want to become famous. Jump with me if you want to go viral. When Jaw Morant threw down another of his show-stopping slams on Saturday night against the Indiana Pacers, there was one immediate and wide-ranging response. Can the Memphis Grizzlies star please sign up for the slam dunk contest? Even other NBA players, including Donovan Mitchell, were adding their names to the petition. The field for this year's edition, which is set to take place a month from now at All-Star Weekend 2023 in Salt Lake City, is not yet full. Portland Trailblazers rookie Shaden Sharp has confirmed his involvement, while Houston Rockets forward KJ Martin and G-Leaguer Mac McClung are also in the mix. Morant would of course make a terrific final edition and raise the star power for the event in a way we haven't seen in a long time. To this point, he has been reluctant to get involved. He said in 2022 that he would need a billion likes on a tweet to consider it, while in 2021 his requirement was a million dollars. When Reggie Miller begged him to accept the challenge live on air during the 2022 All-Star Game, Morant laughed it off and said, I don't think the 10-foot rim is high enough. If he reconsiders his stance at any point, no one will complain. Still, as long as he keeps throwing down in-game jams like the one against the Pacers on Saturday night, he doesn't need to do the slam dunk contest. In fact, he may actually have set the bar too high for himself over the past few years with his daring flights to the rim. On Tuesday evening, the Memphis Grizzlies are in Louisiana, taking on the New Orleans Pelicans. 
During the third quarter, the former second overall pick threw down an unbelievable dunk. He switched hands mid-air and threw down the dunk with his left hand. The clip of the play is going viral on social media. How about getting dunked on twice by the same guy? Jakob Pertl ain't get the memo the first time. John Morant had no mercy with Jakob Pertl after dunking on him once again. John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies have earned a reputation around the NBA for their antics during and after games. This team has a bright future ahead as they are a well-rounded team that can compete in the Western Conference. Still, their personality as a whole and individually has made fans and rivals dislike them. As the leader of this team, Morant is fearless in speaking his mind or acting funny during games, and he's ready to call out people no matter what. Besides dismissing the rest of the West, Jaw is now trolling rivals after posterizing them, which was the case with San Antonio Spurs big man, Jakob Pertl. Number 12 has already dunked on Pertl this season. Still, he had another one saved for the former Toronto Raptors player who couldn't do anything against Morant's athleticism. This isn't the first time Jaw does this to Pertl. Seeing how things are going, it probably won't be the last. Morant is one of the most electrifying players in the NBA right now, and his dunks are the biggest proof of that. He's trying to lead Memphis to the promised land, and listening to his statements, he's pretty confident that it can be done. Time will tell if they will have no trouble going through the West, or if they fall short, like they did last season, when they lost against the eventual NBA champions. However, one place he has been unlucky in finishing posters, there were many moments throughout the season where Morant could have had one of the best dunks in history, but just fell short. Here are some of the would have been almost dunk moments for Ja in his career. Ja Morant took on Rudy Gobert but got blocked, but this is one of many times. My man keeps trying to dunk on Rudy Gobert. He wanted that poster badly for his room. He really tried to jam it in on Rudy three times. Ja also wanted the poster dunk on Zion, but hell nah, Zion was Shaq with 40 plus inch vertical, not this time. The missed dunks on Draymond Green, Anthony Davis, and Kevin Love. I'm sure that NBA fans have reasons for dubbing him Jamos Morant. That Kevin Love almost poster dunk would have been arguably the greatest poster of all time, right up there with Vince Carter's dunk of death. When Morant was asked about a dream player to dunk on, he chose the king. Morant chooses LeBron James as his dream target. In an interview, Morant said that one player he would love to dunk on would be LeBron James himself. While it is no mean feat, Morant is definitely capable given his insane ability to get off the ground. However, Jaw said that he would go so overboard with his celebrations that it would probably lead him to getting a technical foul. Morant said, I remember watching when Tatum actually dunked on him. Like, I don't know what I would have done in that moment. Like, I can do a regular dunk and I'll be screaming for about three or four seconds and be behind the play. So, like, if I actually dunk on LeBron, I would probably get a tech. This isn't a surprise, as getting the king is a big thing. Not many players have successfully done it so far. One of them, as Moran mentioned, was Jason Tatum, way back in James's second stint with Cleveland. Hence, it's understandable why it would be a big deal for a young star. The All-Star Guard has become one of the most exciting players in basketball and is averaging 27.3 points, 5.6 rebounds, and 8.1 assists per contest to start the year. He's also shooting the ball exceptionally well at 47.2% from the field and 32% from the three-point range. If he continues to play at such a high level and the team does well, he could be one of the finalists to win the 2023 MVP award. Last season, he led the Grizzlies to the second best record in the entire NBA and took them to the second round of the NBA playoffs. Therefore, they have very high expectations this season even though they are a young team. Ja Morant has elevated his game to the next level and made his first All-Star appearance in the 2021-22 season and became only the second player in Memphis Grizzlies history to start. His athleticism has helped him win appreciation from fans across the globe. Morant oozes confidence and comes to his best when he faces the best in the league. Judging by Morant's abilities, he is yet to develop into his prime. 
Despite that, he led the Grizzlies to the playoffs and even became the second youngest player to have 45 points in a playoff game behind LeBron James. He went on to put on 30.2 points and 8 assists since his first ever playoff run. Morant is clearly on his way to becoming the next big thing in basketball, regardless of whether he gets to dunk on LeBron or not. We hope you enjoyed our video topic today. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button, and be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel.